so our image and let's clean up a little bit so I'm going just to delete some of the layers we don't use it we'll go to um, so I'm going to rename some of them as we're going and I say as we're going we'll go probably rename more and more just to make it a little bit more understandable and workable easier Okay, right here we have our mountain far away so what I want to do it is blend this a little bit more into scenery right now it's look too close and heavy in some case maybe you want to have this heavier look on your mountain but just in case if you want to blend a little bit more in so maybe add clouds right here on the top um, what we're going to do it is create another adjustment and we'll go to um, here in saturation for this one as well and it, remember we can take saturations quite a bit down and ignore the uh, our sky because we'll go to link and we can add just slightly lightness to this one because things it's what we color saturations and lightness and detail so we'll add a little bit more to this area and let's go um, right now same we'll go clipping by press alt so you can see it's clipped somewhat to this area so that is our mountain okay also I will rework probably more on the clouds and atmosphere afterwards actually you know what let me just in case remove that so it's look kind of nice in the clouds so maybe we'll use this and just add some mask to this so I'll leave it like this okay we'll go to create another um, here situation this will apply to this mountain so we'll go to take see all the saturation down and add just slightly lightness to this one okay let's go to connect to this mountain so there is our lightness and I just look on saturation just slightly okay this one look kind of okay but um, just in case so let's go select again we'll go to control and just slightly darker not too much but overall right here just slight adjustment so it's already give you kind of a little bit more perspective however right here on this cloud so remember I tell I have this adjustment layer but I start losing some of the clouds effect so I'm going to click on a mask for this we'll select the tool okay um, let's set to the black color 10% and I'm kind of start painting in slightly over that mask so just bring back some of this coloring Kind of adjustment um, also right here maybe some not very interesting so I want to add a little bit more clouds to this create new layer let's go to um, reverse to white we'll go to the brush and same things I have it some very interesting clouds you can see right here we'll set to zero so we can actually go in kind of add those clouds to that area okay. yeah that one look a little bit interesting so we can just creating um, it will give it some this effect of the mountains okay let's go to this area and maybe add a few of them kind of around that area maybe a little bit there you go so just add a height almost add an effect to the mountains okay next what I want to do right now is start a little bit more paint in with actual dodge and burn effect and we're going right here front before the front clouds so I want created 
new layer. Okay, and I'm going to fill with 50% gray. Okay, we'll go select to the soft light. And we'll just use it normal brush. Okay, right here we'll set to the black. Let's set 10%. And with this, actually, I can stop. You can see paint a little bit more on the shadows. So I want to add some effect like right here, a little bit more darker areas in some cases. So just kind of start brushing in some of those um, depth and the shadow. So right here it's more as an art, how you prefer if you want to add a little bit more effect to this. Okay, so I'm just adding kind of overall. Okay, a um, few things. Let's go to um, overlook right now. So we have this is our close up. And again, I'm many times when you work, you probably want to spend a little bit more time. This is kind of faster look to create this concept of the um, made painting. I want to add some color correction to lay over all of my um, work. So I can go and create adjustments, maybe bring you know, some colorization to the cloud. I'm going to use for this, so Control Shift Alt E to create layer. And we're going to filter. And we're going to use it filter forge. So I am also will go use some sun to add rays right here from the sun. But for now, we'll just use that one. Okay, I'm going to use it phototone that I created. And in a phototone, I have it some already predefined. It's kind of curved filter, but you can see they help me very fast to select tonal overall correction and um, in which way I want to go. So we have it a little bit more warmer or kind of colder look. It's depend which one you're going after. I probably will go maybe somewhat cyan colder look on this. Okay, so you can see it's added coloring. And in some cases you actually can go to, let me go select another one. You can combine them. So what I was meaning combining is we have the cold one and we can also go back to filter forge and we can use it um, kind of warmer version for this. Okay. And use it after mask to add this colder or warmer version. So right here, for example, we can go select mask for this. Let's set our pen tool, select and kind of start, you know, remove in some areas a little bit add a warmer look. So right here, you can see we kind of add some variations of this. Um, also right here we can go a little bit coloring and a little bit more colder look inside. Okay, also I say about race, what I want to do with race, I want to create a new layer. Okay, we'll go set brush tool set to the white decrease size let's set opacity to the hundred percent and from this point with our sun i click hold down shift click again click hold down shift and i'm just creating a few of those lines okay, right here we're going okay next uh, let's reduce make smaller same things It will go to uh, maybe a few up top, filter, blur. And we'll go usually Gaussian blur for this. Let's pop up them a little bit. Okay, maybe around right here. Okay, and we'll go switch to the soft light. So it just add some guard rays, somewhat effect. We'll go create new layer, fill up this layer with actually all black and switch to this screen. So I'm going to create uh, maybe a couple layers like this. 
and also right here let's disable control shift alt e and i rename this as um preview the reasons why i'm going to use um no light factory to add uh, some of the kind of uh, lens flare kind of sun effect right here but i need this preview layer so i can reference towards so we'll go to select layer new layer and it's so let's call lens flare so we'll go to filter no light factory and right here we can go to click select preview layer okay right in this area it's why i want to place it but let's select see what we have so i have several different lights we can use it okay and it depend which what you're going after so you can kind of see how they will effect but all this um the reasons why i want to use some lights like this they will give it interesting effect as well it's a little bit trick to blend all of them together so you can kind of bring it this way so let's bring just maybe right there and again, this is preset. We can look on um, different. So it's a maybe create with more lens flare um, adjustments. Let me look on this one. Okay, and I have it on a vision, but I think overall the one that um, this one will work probably the best. We'll go adjust. Okay, let me see how much brightness I want to apply it. Okay, and we're all done. Let's click OK. So right here we have our lens flare. Just add a little bit more torch up kind of interesting effect to this. Okay, and we actually don't need this one. I was thought if we create second one. And next, what are the last things I want? Kind of encapsulate all of this together. So we'll go to curve, bring it down and just create a border around let's fill up with the black and we'll just add feathering so here's interesting things we can go set this to this soft light and right now you can see it's kind of a little bit darker border but you can also nice things about this we can take move all the way to the bright and now we add bright border so in this case i probably want to create brighter wide border so it's kind of dissipate all of the going inside okay let's go to add and um because this one i want i like to create a little bit more look like illustrations for this i'm going to add some of the sharpness to this image by using um overlay and we'll go to filter other high pass and just add high pass of one and maybe you know just let's a little bit that way so I just give this a little bit extra sharp kind of look almost like it's total illustration okay so right here kind of almost done with this I want to have just a couple more touches uh, we have a sharpened layer which add everything but I want to bring a little bit more interesting character to this right now it's kind of sunny and nice so let's create more weird weather and i'm going to click right on the preview new layer we'll go to fill this layer with just a white color okay let's go to filter noise and we're going to create um, add noise and amount you can just create um maybe about 150 should work fine monochromic so we'll click ok and we'll go to next normal and switch this to the soft light so we have it kind of you see all this grain next we'll go to filter blur and we'll switch to the motion blur and motion blur i want to have it from direction of his walking so from this direction you can see um we can maybe set just slightly 
right here. Let's click OK. So you can see it's add this interesting effect, almost like snow going. Um, of course, we can take our um, brush. Okay. Let's go to select black one. And, you know, just a little bit decrease right here on the top where the sun kind of a little bit reduce just slightly on the back one mountain, but leave it a little bit closer. So kind of just spacing, but this is will give it, I think, a little bit more character to this scenery. And as I said before, you always can go back and just start adding more and more details. But overall, here's a concept and we created um made painting from rendering elements inside the view and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us in the web is www.geekatplay.com